this sketch from Scrapbook Generations that was designed by Allison Davis. I'm also going to be using this pretty old kit from Crate Paper and it is one of those kits that I am trying to get used up in my stash this year. I love the wood grain paper and I decided to use that as the background. I do go ahead and cut out the center because I knew that I was going to cover it up with this green floral paper. So once I get the floral paper down, I go ahead and put washi tape on the back to help secure the back pieces. I am using four three and a half by five photos and I got those by putting two photos on a five by seven and it gives it a really nice size so it's a little bit bigger than the three by fours but not quite as big as the four by sixes i do decide to mount them on that red polka dotted paper and then again on this black word paper and because i cut it so close you can hardly see the words you really just see a black and white pattern paper now i follow the sketch closely in regards to the four photos in the center. However, I decide to use just one additional photo instead of the two smaller photos that the sketch calls for. And I didn't have enough of the red paper, so I go ahead and try to MacGyver it together. And once it's together, because of the pattern that's on it, you really can't see where I added that piece to it. I do decide to put a flower there where the line is covering up just to be sure. I also add a ticket as well as a chipboard flower there as well. Now these photos were taken at Green Meadows Farm on Easter day. So you can see just barely that the photo on the very far left hand side, my mom and my nephew are standing next to some hay barrels that have been painted white and dressed up like a bunny. I love this collection because it has a spring slash Easter feel to it, but it's not overly girly or overly spring, like lots of pinks and yellows and those bright colors that come with spring. So it gives it that spring feel without it being in your face spring which I have lots of layouts that have that over the top Easter feel. And I think that that's perfect for layouts that are of Easter egg hunts and things like that. But for this photos here where we're just kind of playing at the farm and playing with the animals, feeding the animals, things like that, it is just a little different than it is with Easter eggs and things. I just added a bit of journaling at the top there that said we spent Easter at Green Meadows Farm. And I have several layouts from that day where we did do the Easter egg hunt and things like that. So I have a lot more journaling on the other layouts. So that is it for this video. We did a short one today. I am glad to just be able to share a layout with you guys. I hope that you have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you want to see more double page layouts, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's all you're going to get on my channel. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.